Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Dangerous Waters. This is Bastion Gambit. All right, the uh, the Soviets are mobilizing all their ballistic missile submarines, and something like this has never happened before. Like, a majority of them are already at sea. And according to intelligence, they appear to be heading east instead of north and northeast. Because normally they just, the Soviet boomer doctrine is mostly just to go out here to the Barents Sea or the Kara Sea. Or underneath the ice cap and just patrol out there because the missiles could still reach America from there but they seem to be heading this way and that's a uh, cause for concern well not really cause for concern but just like interesting Brunei, so Brunei. we've been we're the closest sub in the area so we've been sent to investigate so our mission is to track and acquire a boomer and uh, follow it <clears throat> see where it goes so let's see what we have on the sonar here the toad looks to be pretty clear. It's going to be pretty noisy. This is a pretty choppy sea. It's storming. It's shallow water. These are not very ideal uh, sonar conditions here. But we'll have to make do with what we have. So let's check out the narrowband here. I'm trying to bring up a little slack on the toad because I'm going to face the drag on the bottom here. Now, oh God, I just figured this out the other day. Which one was the TB-16 and which one was the TB-26, but I forgot. Uh, one of them is more... No, no, never mind, never mind. That's only on the Sea Wolf. On the LA, both port and starboard total rays are the same thing, so never mind. But, uh, yeah, let's check out the narrowband here. I thought I just saw a shimmer or something. Anything? Oh, I feel like I'm seeing shimmers. But no, nothing on the narrowband. I know the toad is streamed, but it's probably just too shallow here to be using the toad. Anything on the broadband? Man, I'm not seeing anything. Anything on the toad? Anything at all? Nothing. Damn. I am not seeing anything. Not a soul. Well, alrighty then. Let's see here. Okay, so what do we have here? That line's kind of messed up, but eh, whatever. Contested waters claimed by USSR. Alright, so I'm guessing this line right here is like the official international uh, 10 nautical mile range or whatever. Yeah, or 12 nautical miles, whatever it's supposed to be. Or 15, maybe. It might be 15. <coughs> According to international, all these are for sure Russian territorial, territorial waters, but apparently the USSR is also claiming that this whole area here should be territorial waters. Uh, what's our course? We are heading straight for Russian territorial waters here. Uh, it's because we're, uh, this is Gremiha, and this is where, uh, SSBNs will be coming out of. So maybe there, there might be some boomers, like, right in front of us, but we just can't see them because we're going on such a Come left interesting course, course. One, so I'm going to turn three, left here. Four, maybe we can go a little deeper and try to improve some of our performance. We're pretty close to the surface clutter here. Hmm. So let us see. I don't think anything else has showed up on the toad array since we started here. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's try and go a little deeper here. How deep is it? Let's go to 100 feet. 120. Let's go to 150 feet. I'm going to bring in the toad here. It's probably just going to drag. Five, zero, if we can get away from the surface, we might be able to pick up something on the narrow band. On like the uh, conformal or the spherical, maybe. Uh, let's do a quick raise of the scope. Try to do a tactical style and keep it up for much longer than a few seconds here. Four times zoom. Pan around here. Anything, anything, anything. Uh, there's too much wave action going on. Nothing in the approximate, nothing in the uh, immediate vicinity here, so that's fine. I got some water here. I seem to be quite dehydrated. All right, that no, I wanted to retrieve you, not stream you. Damn it! I didn't want to drag you. Ugh. See, like, just I, I spend so much time looking at. 
American narrowband screens and I start to see stuff that isn't there because it looks like on my screen that there's like trend lines here, 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 here. But they're actually like mirrored, so I think that's just random noise that's repeating itself or something. Ah, now I'm finally north center. <laughs> Thank you. Anything yet on the narrowband? Conformal. Conformal is like the first to bite the dust when you start picking up speed. Spherical actually stays pretty decent, if I remember correctly. I hope I'm not confusing them. Uh, maybe in, I don't know, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Man, not picking up a soul. Jeez, all these throw clears, man. I tell ya. Alright, is the scope off the bottom yet? No. Oh, that's my dumbass fault. Well, we probably could go five knots. It's so noisy here. But I want to try and... I'm trying to just go a little bit slower for some more acoustical performance here. More than anything else. What course did I have us come to? This one. 134. Alright. 40 degrees out. And let's just do a little bit of a time speed up here. Is that enough for the toad? Nope. Retrieve. Retrieve. Ready to start with toad array. How am I? See, if this is more realistic, I think you should actually lose your toad if it ever touches the bottom. But they don't have that in here. But yeah, as you can see, that's gotten a little darker green up here, a little clearer because we've gotten away from the surface clutter. Uh, what about here on the broadband on the spherical array? Long time interval. Man, I don't see anything, dude. There's nothing out here. Let's check out this again. I have to do some visual recon here. I'm not picking up crap. Stormy weather in the Murmansk area means shit. Frickin' shit. Frickin' sonar performance. Kola Peninsula, because it doesn't really ever get. It doesn't really get too deep until you go up to this like continental shelf off here. And even then, it's still. I mean, it's a thousand feet, but it's not. But it's not deeper than crush depth. Cape Cannon, Nos Cannon Peninsula, Kola Peninsula, the White Sea. Yeah, this is where that one quick mission to do with the Sea Wolf was, right here in the, the, the freaking White Sea, Russian territorial waters. It's crazy, man. It's almost wide enough to maybe have like a sliver of international waters in there, but <laughs> now that's Russia's backyard right there. It's like the equivalent of like an Akula trying to go up into like the Chesapeake Bay or some shit. But here it's actually like deep. You could actually stay submerged the whole time. Chesapeake Bay is too sh too shallow for that crap. Unless you're feeling rather daring. All right, the toad is straight. I'm not seeing jack shit. Not seeing the soul. Whoa. I see something. I'm going crazy, man. I'm trying to see shit that isn't there. Oh, oh, no. God. I'm so used to like seeing like something right here. This is like the 5060 frequency line area. I'm just so used to wanting to see something there, like a sh sliver of a black line to no a uh, faint contact, but not a soul. So maybe if we continue along on this course, we'll get closer to the Kremicha. Maybe we'll be able to pick something up. So let's see here. So the subs do have to come out this way and round this cape here. So it does make them have to come a little ways out. So I think we're going to set some waypoints here and uh, head along down this direction. Try and pick up a boomer. <coughs> and trail the sucker, see where they're going. But for now, I'm not picking up too much of anything. Con, sonar, I Whoa, hello. Bearing one, seven, three, designated Sierra one. Someone is pinging me. Well, that's not a submarine, that's a surface set right there. Oh, uh, let's see. Got my sonar profile sheet, which you can find in the uh, 
You can find this in the manual section of Dangerous Waters. It has all the sonar profiles of every single ship in the game, and it also lists active frequency ranges. So let's see here. Active frequency range of a ship. Okay, what was that frequency? 3500? I actually don't have the active frequency things on here. Shit, I lied. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a different document then. Well, damn. But I actually think the USMI reference will tell you the ranges of active sonars here. Active frequency ranges. There you go. Uh, 2 to 5 kilohertz is a submarine hull mounted active sonar. 3 to 8 kilohertz is a surface ship hull mounted active sonar. So, you can't rule it out one way or the other. It could be a sub or it could be a surface ship. But I'm willing to bet. A decent amount of money, a decent amount of money. That's a surface ship. Submarines don't ever ping. That's just asking for. It's like signing your death warrant right there, man. I tell you. But who is pinging me? They're definitely coming from Gremicha. Probably close to this cape. Probably rounding the cape, actually. Or it could be a patrol boat, a corvette, or something. <clears throat> oh, what's the bearing? Let's uh, check it out. Oh, and of course, it's I'm. At an angle that's too... It's the baffles of my toad array. So I won't be able to pick them up. But maybe on the cylindrical. Oh, dude, the bearing. The bearing. 173. 173. Nope. Nothing on the cylindrical. That's in the baffles of the conformal and the baffles. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, indeed. Oh, we just had something. We just had something. Contact. What do we got? We got 50, 125, 360. 50, 125, 360. All right, well, the 50 denotes it's a frickin'... It's Russian. It's not American. American ships don't start with 50. Uh, a Victor 3, maybe? Or a Delta 4, perhaps? about surface ships. Or it could be, it's probably a, a Nustra Shimi Nanushka. Yeah, it's probably a Nanushka. Nanushka. Maybe a Nustra Shimi, but I doubt it. It's more of like a bigger surface ship kind of thing. A Nanushka is more of a patrol type craft. I wouldn't expect to be getting a ping from an a Victor or a Delta IV. So it's probably a Nanushka. So let's go ahead here. Now this is with no... Man, what is up with my mucus and my nose and everything? Alright, it's this is based solely on my experience as a Dangerous Waters player. Nothing from any of my sensors would lead me to this conclusion, but I'm thinking this is a Nanushka 3. Nanushka 2. Hmm. Confidence low. Unknown ID. <clears throat> and this has no range implications or anything, this is just active intercepts. Uh, active intercept does not give you range, but we can guess that he's probably going about, eh, eh, 10 knots I'd say is pretty fair. And probably heading slightly on this course. No idea what the range is. I'm going to say he's a lot further than that. I'm going to say that right now he is further away than that. Probably at least double that range. Probably 30,000 nautical miles out there. Or 30,000 yards rather, which is approximately 15 nautical miles. Yeah, he's probably out here somewhere. Probably a decent guess at a solution. Pick up those active... That's why the active is so deadly, man. You can pick it up from so far away. Okay, we could probably try and get a little closer to the bottom for maybe a little bit more performance, but if he's that far away, I'm not going to be picking him up. But uh, let's deviate from the waypoint here. I want to try and see if I can get him on the toad. So let's come up here to 116. Come left to course. One, one, six. Hell see mind. if we can pick him up on the toad here. Yeah, I'm just going to do some uh, some time speed up here, but why not? Uh, after playing a decent bit of multiplayer, it's nice to be able to use a uh, time course. warp again. <laughs> Alright, course is steady. Toad is straightening out. And he's pinging away pretty solidly. Kind of broke off for a second there. What do we got on the 
on this. And he seems to be holding pretty decently to our solution. I'd say it's a pretty decent solution. <clears throat> pretty good guess there. Man, his throat clears are killing me. Alright, where was he? He was around here. Hello. Whoa, we got two contacts here. Victor 3. Well, yeah, that's why it could also be a Nanushka. But we don't have enough data to make that determination or not. And there also appears to be another contact behind it. I don't know if you can see this black line right here at uh, the, the 320 frequency scale. I keep dropping my sonar profile sheet on the floor. I just need to put it right next to me here on the desk. So let's see if we can get rid of this uh, Nanuchka. Let's see if we can isolate this background contact. Nope. They're pretty much on the same freaking bearing, man. Well, we can designate him and designate the Nanuchka. It wants to say both are vectors, but two, one of them is a. Uh, Sierra, three. One is a Nanuchka. We know that for certain. So, but yeah, okay. So it looks like I'm probably if I can't see any of the other frequency lines, I'm going to assume that means that they're on the same. The first two frequencies are the same. So fifty one twenty five three twenty. That is most likely a submarine. Uh, probably a typhoon. It could also be an Akula, but I don't think it's an Akula. Coming off Gramiha, it's probably a typhoon. It could be an Oscar too as well, but they're not really SSBNs, they're SSGNs. They shoot cruise missiles, they don't shoot intercontinental ballistic missiles. Whoa, hello, new frequency line, what have we here? Is he juicing it up? Uh, what do we have on the frequency line? 983, where's that non go? Yeah, see, the fourth frequency line for Victor 3 is 1150 Hz, and this one's at 983. Nanushka, Nanushka. Oh, okay. Nanushka is at 815. Okay, well, this could also... Well, no, I don't think it's the this other contact here, because this line wouldn't be showing up if the other one was barely showing up. So what has this frequency spectrum here? We're looking for 975s. What has 975? None of these surface ships do. The only thing I found that has 975 is a frickin' Ohio. That's not right. Let's go back over here. 975. Yeah, Ohio. Oh, oh, Delta 4, Delta 4. So it's actually a Delta 4, it's not a Nanushka. So it's a Delta 4 pinging us? 975, yes, the uh, Delta Thor. Which one are we looking at here? CR2. Give me CR2. It's not zooming in. CR2. Classify contact. Uh, Delta 4. With high confidence. And then CR3. This is probably the Nanushka or something. Uh, bearing 173, 173. Well, they're both on 173, so I'm going to go ahead and say this is the Nanuchka right here. Because we are picking up a strong frequency from the Delta Fuer. Very strong indeed. Do I have him on the broadband? I should be able to have him on the broadband. Yes, I do. So now we can check out the Demon. And if it is a Delta Fuer, turn for another 7. All nuclear submarines in this game are 7 TPK. I have not found an exception to that rule. So 12 knots. Very well. So Mr. Sierra 2, 12 knots. Most likely this type of direction. And uh, give me a range 25,000 yards. 12 knots, hold steady. And uh, we only have two freak, we only have two um, contacts here, so very rough solution. But, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say Sierra 1 and Sierra 3 are one and the same. I think that's a good choice here. I don't think the Delta 4 is pinging. <laughs> Alright, so right about here. They could potentially be that close together. The Nanchka could be escorting the Delta 4. 
Delta Force probably on the surface right now. And we got him on the friggin' toad, so that's nice. And we're picking up the frequency. I don't think it's a a dual contact here. I don't think it's a, something that's off this way. Uh, but the only way we're going to know that for sure... Oh, well, you can see here the, the toad was straightening out. And this one was turning here. And this one was staying straight. So this is the true contact over here. I think I actually... It looks like it was there back there before the turn. Look at that. It looks like I was down there, too. So, well, what do you know? <laughs> pick him... Ooh, 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 ooh! We can pick him up on the conformal. Just making our master ever so stronger. Con sonar. I have a new contact. Bearing. One. Seven. It's Mercy Air Force here too, one and the same. I think. Well, let's check out here on the frequency sheet Delta 4. Now, Delta 4 third frequency is 360. This is definitely 340. Wait, so let's go back here. But yeah, this is 360 though. So we're picking up. Ooh, well, what's this? Okay, this is the Delta 4 again on the cylindrical. Con, sonar. I have a new contact. Bearing so Sierra one, 5 and Sierra seven, 2 are definitely three. one of the same. Designated Sierra 5. 